Ladies and gents, once you react and this is how the dinosaurs actually died by the channel Coast Gazette in a nutshell. Okay? So, so implying asteroid didn't kill them. Um, hmm, I don't know. I'm guessing he's going to say like how after asteroid fell the I don't know lack of light all the you know smoke and dust slowly killed them or something. Is that the video? I don't know. But this is why Lokar's Gazard, he always has some kind of a different take to things or just different way of telling things, which is always interesting. And it's always revolving around something like dinosaurs, black hole, universe as a whole, larger theory of things, mostly black holes. But yeah, this is going to be awesome. Let's watch it. Ants, I forgot the ants. Even though he just made like what, four or five videos, he should make more. Ants is like really interesting things, as I found out from Lokar's Gazard. So yeah, this is going to be awesome. Let's watch it. Remember, if you like my reaction, don't forget to subscribe so that way I know which type of videos to react to more. I like scientific topics like this. It's stupid to f just say that. Like, who doesn't? Why you don't like anything scientific? That, that science just means knowledge of everything around you, right? I mean, it doesn't mean everything's always accurate, but accurate enough, right? So why would you not like that? So yeah, I love anything science related in general, mostly space and physics. That's where I like uh, about things more. That's what I know things more. But yeah, anything, you know, biology or like how, you know, history has saved because of events like this is always awesome let's watch it a ruthless murder was committed someone killed the dinosaurs and we have the murderer witnesses say that an everest-sized asteroid hit earth devastated the planet and caused a mass extinction a simple fascinating and convincing explanation or is it in the last few years, new evidence has reinvigorated an older theory pointing at a second suspect. A very slow and liquid asteroid, 1,000 times bigger, hitting Earth on the opposite side of the planet. Like the true crime channel we are, let's look at the new evidence and tell a different story that could change everything we thought we knew. The last days of a kingdom. 66 million years ago, Earth was barely recognizable. Last it was the years. last days of the Cretaceous, one of the hottest periods in Earth's history, and much more humid. Lush jungles and woodlands covered much of the planet. Even the polar regions were home to forests of prehistoric pines and ferns. Amazing ecosystems that were robust enough to survive the many months of darkness during the polar night. Oversized animals were everywhere. Pterosaurs filled the skies. Marie yeah, man, just like, you know, cute, cuddly animals. If you should see today, you probably have a heart attack. Yeah, the, the, nature went insane with the sizes and things. Let's be honest. If somehow humans go back in time with time machine, we would kill most of the things. Why did I say time? Because we wouldn't have been a thing if dinosaurs were still around, right? The, the point of humans are at the level right now, it's like how Newton said it. We are standing on the shoulder of giants. We wouldn't have become a giant if there was no one to, I don't know, stand on shoulder off, right? I don't know how else to say that. So, yeah, but if we go back in time, yeah, we would probably kill all these species. That's how dangerous humans are. The lizards and long-necked monsters up to 15 meters swam in the oceans. And on land, basically everything larger than one meter was a dinosaur, one of the most successful animals ever to walk Earth, dominating the world for more than 150 million years. And then they were murdered. All these majestic creatures vanished in a split second of geological time. Why? Yes, it is true that around that time, a big asteroid hit Earth. But was this actually what killed the dinosaurs? Or did it arrive just in time to get all the blame? Because according to some recent science, just before the asteroid struck, an ancient nightmare, older than even the dinosaurs, decided to destroy the world. Let's look at how it might have done it. The beast slowly awakens. The ancient continents almost resembled the world of today, but not quite. India was still a continent-sized tropical island full of lush rainforests and exotic life on its way to smashing. Hey now, hey, I, I need lower for this, hey. <laughs> okay. India's hitting Asia, come on, that can't be it. To Asia. But this paradise also hosted something else. The Deccan Traps, a volcanic region a thousand kilometers wide and a... Of course. Why the fuck? I didn't... Of course it's Deccan Trap. I was sort of thought of that. I live very close to it, I think. Right? Uh, 
weirdly where i live is the portion that is like you know it's the gap between two uh you know plateaus of deccan trap i live close to saurastran uh, plateau i think of the deccan trap right so obviously he's gonna talk about deccan trap why the fuck i didn't thought of that but i don't think that what deccan traps kill dinosaur i'm pretty sure they would have survived that and i think they did kind of survive that Without asteroid, I think dinosaur would have survived. I don't think Deccan traps would have killed it. I don't know. I need to, uh, you know, research it more. I'm pretty sure that's the case. I don't know. About to come to life in a dramatic fashion. The apocalypse began quietly and silently. About 800,000 years before the impact, the Deccan traps began to exhale about 10 million tons of CO2 and sulfur dioxide each year, which in the grand scheme of things was not that much, so for a long time, no one noticed. The problem was, these emissions wouldn't stop. For half a million years, they started to dangerously pile up in the atmosphere. About 300,000 years before the asteroid, the Deccan traps started to vomit lava. This was nothing like a normal eruption. It was a lava flood. Imagine a landscape with volcanoes stretching beyond the horizon. I think it's like, what is it called? Shield of vol volcano shield or something. It's like, it's like a... Imagine most of the India, like center part of it, and like that is the one that's spewing like constant, you know, smoke and shit. That's what the Deccan trap was. They were constantly active, releasing a steady flow of massive amounts of poison and lava, interrupted by much more violent and deadly eruptions. The lush paradise of India was the first victim as gigantic clouds spread toxic fumes and poisoned the coastal regions. Clouds of ash darkened the sky as rivers of magma started massive wildfires, eradicating many local ecosystems and paving the continent with dead dinosaurs. Still at this point, it all looked like a local catastrophe, one of many that have hit our planet over its billions of years of history. Had it stopped here, there might still be dinosaurs today. But the nightmare hadn't even begun yet. The beast turns furious. The Deccan traps would just not stop spewing lava. And so, after hundreds of thousands of years of never-ending volcanic emissions, the catastrophe became global. First, the planet experienced a wave of heating, with oceans getting at least 2 degrees Celsius hotter in just 100,000 years. Which is bad, but just about the time frame that leaves ecosystems a chance to adapt. But then, nature would pull a cruel prank. Some of the gases of the Deccan traps heated the planet up, while others cooled it down. But the mix was uneven, so after the initial warming, a period of cooling followed, massively stressing the ecosystems that barely managed to adapt to the hotter temperatures. At the same time, the sulfur in the atmosphere came back down as acid rain, while the CO2 was acidifying the oceans and killing the plankton. Yes, that's the thing with our climate. Our climate is so, like, in the zone of stability that if you fuck it up, like, it will be have, like, you know, back and forth of it, right? Cooling, hot, sulfur dropping, like, everything will go fucked up, right? Two degrees is a lot when you really think about it uh, in the scheme of things. So, oceans hitting up two degrees is a big, big deal. So, yeah, uh, I didn't know Deccan trips were this in intense, okay? But, I don't know, I feel, uh, you know, whatever I read about it, I think dinosaur could have survived that. I mean, like, probably would a lot of them would have died, but I feel like they could have survived, but who knows? Uh, probably that would have killed dinosaurs. So we're blaming asteroid for nothing. Asteroid did nothing. That's what happened. Asteroid is innocent in this one. Which was, and still is today, the basis of the food web in the oceans. And if plankton disappears, a massive extinction is all but guaranteed. But now, the grand finale was about to begin. About 50,000 years before impact, the true apocalypse came. Like a cosmic horror breaking out of its prison, the Deccan traps roared and screamed and began to spew out tens of trillions of tons of magma and even more deadly gases in an onslaught that lasted for several thousand years, rolling over ecosystems, devastating everything they reached. For a time as long as all of human civilization, this lava Armageddon brought massive wildfires. Earthquakes and tsunamis smashed and shook the continent. So much heat was released from the roaring hot interior of our planet that it might have created hypercanes, cyclones tens of kilometers wide with winds reaching almost 1,000 kilometers an hour, three times more than the deadliest hurricane ever recorded by humanity. These storms were... Oh my God, a hurricane. Uh, this is like uh, more than what tornado is, right? Tornado, which is what? 
the intense tornado has reached like three, four hundred kilometers or something. I don't remember exactly. Something like that, right? Four hundred, three, four hundred. Tornadoes are really faster compared to hurricanes. Well, obviously, they're smaller. But this is faster than that, which, which is a basically a hurricane. So massive and intense that they could reach tens of kilometers into the stratosphere and rip holes into the ozone layer with devastating consequences for all life, now without protection from the sun's radiation. And of course, where the hyperstorms occurred, devastation and death would follow. And as if all this wasn't enough, out of the guts of the earth came colossal amounts of venom. Giant clouds loaded with mercury and hydrochloric acid rolled over the planet, delivering the final blow to the remnants of a once magnificent and fertile world. As food chains crumbled and the whole world around them collapsed, some of the last dinosaurs to ever walk the earth may have died vomiting toxic foam while being bathed in acid rain. A cruel end for the members of a noble family that had ruled the world for so long. Then it just ended. The frenetic eruptions slowed down and the endless natural disasters began to fade away. But the world was changed forever. The monster had left unfathomable devastation and corpses in its wake. Even the planet's ecosystems far away were severely wounded. It was the end of a whole geological era, a murder that started slowly and then turned loud and violent. And then it happened. Like a cosmic joke, on the other side of the world, a bright dot of light appeared in the sky. And an instant later, an asteroid 10 kilometers across smashed into Earth with the power of 4 billion atomic bombs. If you want to see what this was like, we made a whole video about it. If life on Earth was like a murder victim barely holding on, this was the final blow. Okay, that is intense, man. I didn't know uh, it was uh, Deccan Trap was that intense. Well, apparently it was. Yeah, so where I live, uh, you know, it's like I'm not used to mountains or mountainous region a lot where I specifically live, right? But, uh, you know, if I go a bit like, let's just say like uh, 200 or so miles from wherever I am, I'll see a ton of mountains area because like I said, Saurashtrian Plateau, that's close to it. I went to, uh, you know, a place recently, I posted an image on Instagram, basically, uh, link in description, where, where I, you know, like took a photo from my, you know, mirrorless camera of like mountain and lake and things. I'm not used to that. Every time I see there's a wall, that's different, right? In all directions, right? Wherever a direction goes. So I'm in the center of these things. Right, that's why where I am is like flattest part. <clears throat> Anywhere else I go, it's like mountains, mountains, and mountains, right? So whether I go south in you know Mumbai side, Maharashtra, there's like mountainous area for a long range. If I go to north, Rajasthan side, like I said, left, you know, east, so there's mountains a lot apart from where I'm living. Just too much. After the massacre on the other side of the world, the Deccan traps went on expelling tens of trillions of tons of deadly gases for another 800,000 years, making sure the devastated planet stayed covered in poison. When they eventually finished and truly went back to sleep, 75% of all species on Earth had perished. Most famously, almost all dinosaurs, except birds, the only dinos that are still with us today. Their stunning beauty and diversity are a shy reminder of how majestic and wonderful their larger cousins must have been. So, who was the murderer? Were the dinosaurs doomed by the traps, or would they have survived without the asteroid? Was it teamwork? Well, we don't know. Scientists have... No way in hell they would have survived the asteroid, let's be honest, right? Asteroid would have fucked up the ecosystem properly. Okay, maybe some species could have survived without the... That is too many maybes, right? Did Deccan Trap kill them? Could be. But if they didn't, Astro would have definitely killed them, right? It's like somebody's poison and a car ran over. Poison could have killed them or not, but car would have definitely killed them. ...have been fiercely debating this question for years, but for now we have no definite answer. The timeline of events that we've shown here is based on some of the most recent reconstructions of the evolution of the Deccan Traps. There are other ones that paint a different picture, but right now, scientists are still fiercely arguing over this. Check our sources to learn more. So, like much of... Yeah, there's like, you have barely some evidence and you have to like uh, guess a lot of things based on patterns. There is always going to be multiple side of those things. You can never know 100%. That's the thing, right? You're guessing something that happened like a long, long time ago with very little things to go about. True crime. 
we can't end this story with an easy and satisfying resolution. Time has the nasty habit of erasing evidence, so maybe we'll never really know. See, this is what the reason why people, anti-science people say, like, science doesn't know everything. Yeah, it knows more than you or anything that is not science, right? So, yeah, maybe we won't know anything about, the, maybe we won't know everything that is to know. Maybe there will be a limit to what humans can learn. Maybe we can know everything of the past. Again, there might be a limit to things, right? Uh, even in the present, there's a lot of things we might not be able to do, right, or learn. So, ability of science is always going to be limited or not, but right now it feels like it might be limited. But there's more than anything else. There is no alternative to science that is like more accurate than science. But there is something else hidden in the dust, something truly terrifying. As we learn more and more about the past, we found that at least four of the five big mass extinctions happened at the same time as the Earth was furiously spewing gargantuan amounts of magma. The monster that might have killed the dinosaurs seems to be a serial killer. The worst massacre ever, the Permian mass extinction 250 million years ago, was caused by the Siberian traps, a hellish flood of lava that killed 95% of all the species on Earth, almost bringing life to its knees. Until recently, many scientists thought that this was an outlier, but new evidence suggests it may have been the rule. Other big mass extinctions happened when the monster awoke from its sleep, and the longer and more violently it rampaged, the more slaughter we can see in the fossil record. So maybe the dinosaurs were not massacred by a casual murderer from outer space, but by a serial killer hiding beneath our feet. Do you need to worry about all of this? Definitely not. While the monster is real, it's amazingly slow and currently very sleepy. If it were about to awaken again, scientists monitoring the Earth's interior would get a warning really early, maybe even millions of years in advance. Time enough to prepare and move out of the way. Enough about mysteries of the past and onto puzzles in the present. We're testing out this project crate from our sponsor KiwiCo. Yeah, we will go to kiwico.com forces Kazakhstan and support this channel. Yes, uh, obviously volcanic activities and anything, uh, you know, anything that Earth can do is going to be much devastating than anyone else can do. That's why global warming is important. But yeah, even though 95 or 99 percent of scientists agree on it, people still like, oh, I don't want to give this up. Okay, sure. Right? People have this misconception about global warming that people are saying just like dump everything, like those stop oil people. Stop oil people are not global warming, uh, you know, uh, the main people who are trying to stop global warming, right? Nobody's saying just stop everything at once. Like that's not how our, uh, you know, our economy is going to work, right? Everything will collapse if you do that. But yeah, we need to acknowledge something if you're going to find answer to it, right? And I feel like 90% of people are now acknowledging it, right? Uh, obviously, India acknowledges it. Uh, China is acknowledging as well. Most of European Union and things like that. Most of USA as well. Right. Even though like a lot of, uh, you know, right wingers are saying no to it. Most of the companies that mix of USA and their economy are kind of like, you know, like agreeing, oh, OK, this is real. We, we're going to do something about it. So there is that, uh, you know, Trump get out of the Paris Accord. But most of the companies they said, OK, I don't care if we get out. We are going to still uh, go about like this is real. So I don't know. Uh, most people are starting to realize that this is real. So anything Earth can do is going to be much devastating uh, to our ecosystem than anything else, obviously. But yeah. Right, well, that was how the dinosaur actually died by the channel Kazgazar in a nutshell. If you like my reaction, don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't seen other reactions that I did like this from Kazgazar, check out the link in the description or in the end card right now. There's going to be a playlist here. And yeah, I'll see you next time.